Hello, you need to welcome to India to our Center for Life Sciences, Health and Medicine. Thank you. Uh, uh, he's uh, Dr. Euler Smith. He's very happy. He's coming every two years to visit India and he helps our children as well as he helps our other children from the USA as well as uh, your daughter has been helped very well by G therapy in last few years. Correct. And she has almost become uh, near normal now and she's attending uh, college, uh, she's a college student now. So, Unit, what is your experience about G therapy? So, my name is Hewlett Smith. I'm an occupational therapist from uh, Georgia, near Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, I've been engaged in occupational therapy practice for the last 20 years. Um, my wife is a physical therapist and we have uh, ran, operated a, an integrative practice for about 20 years now, uh, providing rehabilitation services primarily to children. I'm also the uh, CEO and, and co-founder of a company called RehabMart.com and uh, we, we uh, are one of the country's largest distributors of rehabilitation products and, and equipment online. Now, we're also a government contractor and we're, uh, we, we distribute and sell on the GSA schedule to uh, the Veterans Administration and to other governmental agencies. I first came to know about G-Therapy in 2002. Um, I learned about it a little bit earlier, but my daughter was born in 2002, my first daughter, and she had um, a bleed in utero prior to birth and was diagnosed with an intraventricular hemorrhage and also with hydrocephaly. So she was shunted at, I believe, around 16 days of age, and uh, immediately, as soon as we learned about the diagnosis uh, prior to birth, we learned about her diagnosis uh, via uh, ultrasound, and we, my wife and I, uh, immediately started planning Sophia's integrative treatment plan and so within that first year we we observed uh, some of Dr. Oswald's work online and, and uh, I was immediately intrigued and wanted to learn more and around um, 2004 I traveled to, um, to Pune at the invitation of Dr. Oswald and I spent uh, more than a week uh, learning and, and being with him studying with him and became, uh, he became a sort of mentor to me. Uh, also, when I went back, uh, Sophia started on G-therapy, and um, her prognosis was, was moderate, um, was, fa was fairly moderate to severe, depending on the, the neurosurgeon or, or the neurologist or the developmental pediatrician we were speaking with. But she had uh, a significant amount of brain damage from the bleed, she had hydrocephalus, she had cortical vision impairment with an MRI showing that she had um, uh, profound damage to her primary visual cortex so she was con she was diagnosed as being legally blind she had strabismus and uh, nystagmus with her eyes moving up and down almost consistent uh, constantly she did her eyes did not respond to the light reflex initially so we bought a hyperbaric chamber in that first year of her life back in 2002 and uh, we started doing our, our own hyperbaric oxygen treatments along with other integrative approach, a brain food diet, breast milk, omega-3s with high levels of EPA, D DHA. And then in 2004, we started G-therapy. Uh, within that first year of her, within the first month, actually, of her starting G-therapy, uh, she was, she was uh, creeping around, crawling around. We were doing a, a huge floor program. But within the first uh, months of G-therapy, she started popping up off the floor, pulling to stand. And we have some videos of Sophia now. She's 12 years old. This is uh, November of 2014, and Sophia is actually 12 and a half years old. She's very articulate. She's in sixth grade, normal, normal education uh, classes. And uh, she's doing well in school overall. She struggles with math and, and has to do some extra tutoring in certain subjects. But um, she's really doing amazing. We saw the biggest results in the, um, with the first time that, that, that she took the therapy. We saw a uh, softening in, um, in tone, uh, reduced overall spasticity, improved overall motor planning. There, we have a lot of video that documents this. And um, Sophia also is very articulate and kind of can share her own experiences uh, uh, regarding taking G therapy over the years. I've continued to come back every couple years since 2004. Right now it's 2014. And every time I, I come, I just gain greater insight, insight, a greater depth of knowledge uh, concerning Dr. Oswald's work and also just the total integrative approach that he's fostering here at his center, the Center for Life Sciences here in, in, in Pune, India.